Hello and welcome. Today I would like to share with you Cheryl's birthday problem, the problem that has went viral over the internet. Let's start. Albert and Bernard just became friends with Cheryl, and they want to know when her birthday is. Cheryl gives them a list of ten possible dates. Cheryl then tells Albert and Bernard separately the month and the day of her birthday, respectively. Albert started. I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know that Bernard does not know too. Bernard replied. At first, I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is, but I know now. And Albert finally said. Then I also know when Cheryl's birthday is. So when is Cheryl's birthday? This is an original question from the SAS MO two zero one five S three division. Let's proceed to solve this problem. First, we can collect the information here and present it in a table format, like so. Now. Albert is presented with the month, and Bernard is presented with the day. So let's first look at Albert's statement. Albert's first statement: I don't know when Cheryl's birthday is. I know that Bernard does not know too. So from the second point. Bernard cannot be given the number eighteen or nineteen. The reason is these are unique dates that will allow Bernard to know Cheryl's birthday immediately, so we can proceed to strike those off, like so. Now we can delve into the second point further. From the second point, Albert is also. Hundred percent certain that Bernard does not know. So May and June actually can be eliminated entirely. So let's proceed to do that now. Now the struggle with most people is to understand this part. How can we eliminate May and June just from this piece of information alone? Let's try and understand that further. Firstly, Albert does not know what Bernard has. If Albert has May, then he cannot be hundred percent certain that Bernard does not hold the number nineteen. But Albert claimed that he is hundred percent certain Bernard does not know. So therefore, Albert must not have received May as the month. The same logic applies to the month of June. Now let's use an illustration to have a clearer picture. Here we have three buttons: red, yellow, and green. For the red button, if you press it, it will hundred percent explode. For the yellow button, if you press it, it may explode. It may not. For the green button, it will hundred percent not explode. Now, if we say that Albert presses a button and is hundred percent certain that it will not explode, so what did he press? Yes, that's right. He must have pressed the green button. Now there will be people thinking that maybe he pressed the yellow button since yellow button it may also not explode. It's not about that. It's about this certainty here. He is hundred percent certain that makes the decision the green button. In the same way, Albert cannot have May for the same reason. Now let's proceed back to Bernard's first statement. At first, I don't know Cheryl's birthday. After Albert made his statement, I know now. Bernard can use Albert's statement. To arrive at the same table above. Now, since Bernard said that he already knows Cheryl's birthday, this is only possible if the day is unique. So we can strike out 
14, which is here and here. Now, let's look at Albert's second statement. Based on Bernard's statement, I now know as well. Again, Albert is now able to reach the same table using Bernard's statement. Since we know that Albert has the answer, Cheryl's birthday has to be July 16. It cannot be August, because if he has the month August, he cannot decide between 15 or 17. Since he has the birthday, so therefore it must be July, giving us the answer of July 16. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you have fun solving this problem. See you next time.